Hey everybody, me again, Chip here. This time I'm up here. And I'm up here because I wanted to, for you to see the console over here. So what are we doing in this video? We are going to create an export.py of our model. But first, continuing from the previous video, we're going to redo the model. So first we're going to import Fastbook and of course import everything from Fastbook. And you know what? I could also import all of Fast.ai, but I'm gonna comment that out. I, I don't think I'm gonna need that. And we're gonna use the path that we already downloaded of all the pets images because we are going to have to create a model trained on that. And we are going to uh, use the function is cat that's going to check if it's a cat based on the first character of the image name. I'm just recapping what we did last time. And then I'm gonna create this variable here. That's going to be the classifier that's going to help resize and uh, use the image files that we just downloaded and also the iscat function and we are going to let me try to yeah tie things up we are going to create a learner and that learner is going to be fine-tuned to uh, what is this? Let me just clear this terminal. Uh, I don't want to install any formatters. All right, so now we created this export file that basically reruns the entire model, creates the model, uses some libraries here to use this function, and generate the learner, which is going to be uh, trained over here, right? Okay, but we want to export this model so that we use it in the future. So we don't have to train it each and every time we want to use it. In FastAI, you can export models using pickle files. And I'm not talking about the vegetable, I'm talking about a PKL file, okay? the extension of it is pkl and the way we export it is we do learn which is the thing we trained here with our convolution neural network learner and we say export and now we gotta give the path to where we want to export it to now wait why am i in yeah so I need to get to this path exactly. And to get to this path, I'm gonna do PWD, and it's going to give me the exact path of where I am. I'm gonna Control Shift C, Control Shift V to paste it here. And I'm gonna say slash cat classifier dot PKL. All right, and now if we run this file, we are just going to train the model and export it into the cat classifier PKL. To run it, I'm gonna do Python and it's export.py. Hit return, and now we wait. We get the usual coda install fastbook error, and now it's training. And whoa, it's going pretty fast. I wonder why it's going that fast. Well, turns out I have a brand new second-hand GPU uh, installed in my um, desktop here, and um, it's a 2080 NVIDIA graphics card. Wow, it really makes the difference because the first time it ran the Epoch, the entire uh, batch of files, it took 19 seconds, which is amazing, right? I mean, it's obviously a leg up from the previous video where we stayed a lot of time into loading it like five minutes this first time now it's 19 seconds and the second time it's 25 seconds which is longer than my 
first test before this video, it was 24 seconds. I don't know what happened. Anyway, 90 seconds first time, 25 seconds the second time. And would you look at here, we have a cat classifier.pickle file. That's cool. We have a cat classifier model in this file. Okay, let's use it. I'm gonna create a new file, uh, name it import.py. And here is where we are going to create the import code. Now this is gonna be simpler, but we still need to import Facebook. And of course, as before, everything else from Facebook. And we're going to have to use the same function, the iscat function where we, uh, you know, take the is upper. Uh, and now we're gonna have to create a learner. And this learner is going to be a load learner function with a specific path. Now, what is that specific path, you ask? Well, our current path, the path to the pickle. I'm gonna control shift C and paste this here and say cat classifier dot pkl. And that is how we load the pickle. I can do print and say here um, model loaded exclamation mark. So we know that we loaded the model, right? Let's let's run this. Say Python uh, import.py and it's just gonna say mad model loaded as you can see here. Okay, but let's use that loaded model. So what I'm gonna do is say um, image. You know what, I'm gonna take an image. I, I took a picture of a cat as I was walking down the street um, today and I'm gonna paste it here. And it's this cat. It's just a cat and we're gonna see if this cat is a cat according to our model. So I'm gonna create an image and it's gonna be a PIL, um, PIL image dot uh, create. We're going to create this image and we're gonna use the same. So this is gonna be an image that our model can load because we used the same thing as you can see, where's the image? No, we use the image dot alert. Oh, no, where's the image? Oh, we used images. Okay, never mind. We use a we use a different thing there. But I'm gonna say cat dot jpeg, which is gonna be our image. And this img uh, variable will contain our image. So not, now what we're going to do is say uh, is underscore cat, comma, um, underline, and uh, comma, uh, probs, which is the probabilities. We are going to extract, if you remember correctly, not from the import, but from when we did our um, Jupyter Notebook, we had something similar, because now what we're going to do is say um, learner.predict.img, this image file, right? And then we can just print and say, is this a cat? And say is underscore cat. Now, when we run this file, it's going to load the model and it's going to create this image into a pill image and run it through the learner predict and tells tell us if it, there's a cat in the picture. Did I save? Yes, I saved. Let's see what it says. And it is a cat. And that was it. That's all you need to do to export a model and to import it and use it. And I showed you how to do this in, um, in Python directly. So in two files, an import and an export. And we are at 10 minutes in five, four, three, two, one. 
thank you for watching this video i'm chip and don't forget to like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already i'm chip and as always i'll see you next time